If you are looking to get your badges and your overall grinded for the cheapest and fastest way as possible, I have a new badge and overall servers on my Twitter. It's at CassisLaker24. Link in the description. Go check it out. Hit me up in the DMs for prices. And I'll see you guys then. What is up with everyone in the 2K community in today's video? We have some NBA 2K20 news slash information. On Twitter, Nick Ruiz says this. Archetypes. So 2K18, 2K19, and 2K17. Some builds being dominant themselves with players not needing to be good at them. Fact. All around builds equals everyone is a superstar, but there's a humongous skill gap, which there was in 2K16. That's why you see the people who are good at 18 and 19 were absolutely dog shit at 16 and 15 because they didn't actually, they don't really know how to play the game. They don't know how to, only know how to use overpowered archetypes. But of, obviously, archetypes won't be going anywhere. Let's be honest. It's one of the biggest money makers for 2K. They love 2K, but 2K20 is going to be 2K16 2.0. You guys know this. Everyone knows this. I'm Davis even is shocked by this. If they actually put this into the game, if they actually don't have archetypes, the game be more balanced and you'll see players like me, I'm not going to brag, but 2K16, 92% win percentage from 2,500 games. I was a god at that game because it actually took skill and he could beat all these bums, unlike who are bums, turn into good players this year and last year. Archetypes, as you know, you can just use a pure stretch big and a pure glass or a pure post on the twos and win every game. Takes no skill. On the threes, you can just play a play sharp, lock down, then a glass or a pure stretch. No skill. Again, a lot of these builds take no skill. That's why I like to use a two-way build because it's best of both worlds. You have a sharp, which is overpowered, shock creator overpowered, then you have a lockdown, which is overpowered as well. So you know what I mean? Like, they need some more balance in the game, but obviously, as I said, archetypes aren't going to go anywhere because we know this because it's one of the biggest money makers is where they make their bread on 2k but if they did bring it back you'll see a lot of these big like big time players who have like 90 something percent win percentages be back down to this regular 60 70 percent win percentages you know and i and people actually love the game again because 2k 16 you remember like fredo we had fredo back in the community that's so Luminati blowing up they were blown up at that time. That's how they made their name. Officer 16. Like, that's where it started. Everyone knows that 2K16 was the best park experience because it had a humongous skill gap. We all knew this. It had the best rep system as well. You can go to Legend 5, which actually takes a long time. It actually takes... You actually got to play on the park to get it. You can't play my career. And in my career, obviously, you can just go and play your little... play. You can play your games. You get your badges. You can have every single badge in the game up to gold, but I think they should have it like 17, which should have every single badge to bronze. So you have every badge on your player. You have a, you just an inside or an outside. Or if you can have archetypes back, make the archetypes more balanced. Because right now, you know the archetypes, as I said, one's overpowered, then you got ones that's really bad. Like, I don't know what... Well, I'm not going to say any builds because a lot of people get butt hurt after saying a build. So anyway, what do you guys think about this news? Would you actually guys like to see 2K16 2.0 implemented into 2k20 and that is the video obviously all i want to do you guys to do is hit 50 likes in this video share the video to everyone of your friends everyone in the 2k community and follow me on twitch pop it up on the screen right now go follow me on there for live streams every single day for 2k20 and i'm going to do some more streams for 2k19 and fortnite if you guys want to see fortnite do that there's only two games that are out right now that anyone wants to play Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Some 2K20 news for you guys. Caught short, sweet. If you want some more funny intros, I've got them on the way. Need your badges overall growing. I'm only going to only doing Xbox accounts right now. So hit me up on there. Anyway, catch you guys in the next one. Later.